The ATF claims that there's no such thing as a solvent trap. Let's go ahead and talk about it. What's up, Wolverines, and welcome back to the channel. You know, we are approaching the holiday, and during the holidays, decisions drop like flies, and also other news breaks. It's just the way it is. It's just so these things can get buried because everyone is concentrating on the holidays. Earlier on today, we had the Maryland shall issue decision drop, which said that the Maryland handgun qualification license was unconstitutional. And now we have an open letter from the ATF about solvent traps, and they claim solvent traps do not exist. But before we get into that, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps with the algorithm and you know engagement is key to beating the algorithm and I want to spread what's going on in the second amendment community and the gun world in general and also if you want a really really good read you can go ahead and read my book which is masters of firepower it dropped at the beginning of the month I think it's a pretty good book a lot of people really really like it and you can go ahead and pick it up on Amazon and hardcover paperback or Kindle editions it's also available for Kindle Unlimited so if you have Kindle Unlimited you don't have to pay anything you can just read it which I would greatly appreciate it and if you would just leave a comment a five-star review I would be seriously grateful. Now getting back to solvent traps. The ATF has sent an open letter to FFLs discussing solvent traps. The Bureau of Anti-Gun Rights states that there's no such thing as solvent traps. Solvent traps are used to catch solvents from cleaning your guns. What the ATF is claiming is that solvent traps are suppressors, not because they function as suppressors, but you can make them function as a suppressor. The ATF states that you do not have to have a working suppressor to have a suppressor. We do know that a lot of people have taken solvent traps and converted it to suppressors. The ATF says that solvent traps were never solvent traps. They were always suppressors and they were just marketed as solvent traps to get around the NFA. The ATF states that you do not have to have a working suppressor for to be a suppressor. You just have to have parts that can be converted into a suppressor. Now the ATF lays out a few different things that it claims shows that solvent traps are suppressors. Indexing or markings of where to drill would be an example of what makes it a suppressor but it doesn't have to have those. That's just one example that it gave. Also baffles, if the solvent trap has anything that can be converted into a baffle, such as freezer plugs that you drill out the middle of it, they are going to go ahead and consider that a suppressor itself, which is ridiculous. One of the most ridiculous things that I do see is end caps. Basically, they are considering all end caps that can be threaded onto a barrel as a suppressor itself. So if you have multiple caliber end caps, those are now being considered suppressors, which is absolutely ridiculous. This letter is so vague, it looks like you can go down to Home Depot, fill up a cart with plumbing supplies, and all of a sudden you have a suppressor without even knowing it because the stuff can be converted into a suppressor, which is absolutely ridiculous. The ATF is also stating that you cannot form one a solvent trap into a suppressor because when it was manufactured it was already a suppressor so therefore you cannot fill out a form one and make a suppressor which seems like they are trying to shut down the homemade suppressor market totally even if you want to follow the law they're saying that you can't because they're not going to accept it basically if you try to form one a suppressor they are going to reject it saying that it was always a suppressor it seems like it's a thought crime to me but hey what do i know i'm just a guy on youtube reporting on atf overreach and the corruption in the federal government 
what the ATF wants you to do is to contact them and turn it over if you have one of these solvent traps, like if you bought it on a Wish or whatever, to turn it over. And if you're not sure if what you have is considered a solvent trap or a suppressor, they want you to contact them and show them it. Basically, what they are asking you to do is to self-incriminate yourself. I would not suggest anyone do that. I'm not a lawyer, but I would not suggest anyone do that. If you decide that you do want to turn it over to the ATF and just get it out of your hands, which is totally acceptable because it is your decision to make. I'm not sure what I would do. I don't have any solvent traps. I'm not sure what I would do. But if you decide to do that, what I would suggest doing is going to a lawyer and dealing with the ATF through a lawyer. I know it's a little bit more expensive than just calling up the ATF and just handing it over. But in the end, it does protect you a bit. And if you show up to the ATF with a lawyer, it shows the ATF that you are not playing around and you're not going to be pushed around. So therefore, you have a more of a chance of not being prosecuted. The ATF did not say whether they're going to prosecute anyone or whatnot. They did hint that they will not prosecute you if you divest yourself of that solvent trap or in their eyes, the suppressor, but I don't trust the ATF because I've seen them do a lot of really dirty stuff to a lot of people. So whatever you want to do is up to you. I'm going to link the letter down below. So if you want to go ahead and read it, you can go ahead and read it. If not, then that's fine too. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. You are a free person and it is your decision to make. All right, guys, that is it. I have several other stories I still need to get to. So I'm filming this video quite quickly so I can get those filmed and ready to be released as we head into Thanksgiving weekend. All right, guys, have a happy Thanksgiving. There should be at least one more video dropping before Thanksgiving. And I'm not sure if I'm going to drop one on Thanksgiving or the Friday after. It's probably going to be the Friday after, to tell you the truth. Because I don't think a lot of people will be watching YouTube on Thanksgiving. I could be wrong, though, so maybe I will. I haven't decided. Well, whatever I do, you will find out on Thanksgiving, I guess. All right, guys, that is it. Stay ever vigilant. Stay ever free. Keep in the fight. I love you all very much. Happy Thanksgiving. And remember what Thanksgiving is about. It's about giving thanks for everything good in your life. We all go through problems, but there is always something good in our lives, whether you see it or not. Trust me, it is there. So if you are depressed or whatever during this holiday season, just remember I am here for you and the community is here for you and we will get through it together. All right, guys, that's it. Love you very much. Wolverines, motherfucker.